Mars's gravity is tearing Phobos apart. This landscape was sculpted by the elements, by the wind and the rain. But on Phobos, there is no wind and rain. And so the landscape is sculpted by something else. It's actually sculpted by gravity. When you've got a planet and a moon orbiting around each other and spinning on their axes, very complex gravitational forces come into play. They're called tidal forces. And they act to deform the moon and also actually slightly deform the planet. And they also act to change the orbits. But in the case of Mars and Phobos, what's changing is that Phobos is descending towards Mars in its orbit. And it's only about 6,000 kilometres above the surface now. But ultimately, over time, Phobos gets closer to Mars and that means the tidal forces get stronger and stronger. The grooves on the surface are stretch marks and fractures. Mars's gravity is tearing Phobos apart. Eventually, Phobos will drift so close that Mars's gravity will destroy it. But from this destruction, something beautiful will emerge. As Phobos begins to break apart, most of the debris will fall to the surface of Mars. But the rest will remain in close orbit spreading out to encircle the entire planet, leaving Mars with a spectacular set of rings. So what is Phobos? The truth is, and I think this is wonderful, we still don't know the full story of the origin of Phobos. But what we can say is that this little moon is a wonderful place. Because in the future, it's going to turn the red planet into a ringed world.